guys, as Anish here today, and I'm back with another video on Sonic Frontiers. Now, uh, we do actually have some confirmed info to talk about in today's video. Well, it's not really confirmed info. The only thing that's confirmed this time is that it's related to Sonic Frontiers, so... I guess that's sort of a plus, because it's better than just speculating things and most likely not happening, but... Oh well, let's just discuss it in today's video. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to Steam, we Sonic Rush. Right, so we're going to get this info from a leaked Steam database of Sonic Frontiers, and just for context here, this isn't only happened with Sonic Frontiers. Actually, a bunch of Steam games got leaked with the database and everything like that, so Sonic Frontiers isn't just the only game that we've actually got this info from. You can see this from a bunch of other games, but... Obviously because this is a Sonic channel and you guys care about Sonic, we're going to be looking at Sonic Frontiers. And here's a leaked database right here. So, Sonic Frontiers, you can really see right there in the top left. Nice, we're in the right place. So, we have app ID 1237320. Alright, I don't think that's interesting, but oh well. App type, game, that's good. That means we can actually play it because arguably you could say Forces were kind of like a movie because most of the time you just sat there watching things happen. Then you got support systems, windows, last change number 142. 50453. Last record update, 17th of March, 2022, eight hours ago. Well, at the time of the recording this anyways. So yes, this has been updated recently, so that's good. Shows that they are still keeping things going and the info we're talking about in today's video, well, in like a couple minutes actually, isn't actually old news, it's actually pretty recent. Then we still have the release date, holiday 2022. How nice. And it says there's only partial information available about this app. A Steam DB is missing the access token. Muy interesa. They'll be having the right there. Journey into new realms. How nice. Right, this stuff on the bottom is the more interesting part though. Displaying change. Hashtag U colon 2886-6759. And then it says the same thing there. Two days ago, 15th of March, 22 minutes and 7 seconds past 3 in the afternoon. How nice. I just start API release date. May be wrong, 1st September 2022. So that is a release date that has been added for Sonic Frontiers. Wow, very interesting, 1st September. That is even a lot earlier than November, which is when we usually get Sonic games, so... Nice. Right then, anyways, let's just discuss the news then, shall we? Right then, according to this leaked database, Sonic Frontiers will be releasing on the 1st of September 2022. Now, I just want to say one thing, all the Steam database stuff isn't actually like 100% confirmed. This stuff can be changed at some point by the developers, so say so I could just say to Steam anytime, you know what guys, please, we don't want it to release on the 1st September, please change the date, thank you very much. So this date could change at some point, but as it stands right now, according to the Steam database on Steam, Sonic Frontiers will release on the 1st of September 2022. Remember, subject to change. Now when I heard this news at first, I was a bit stranged out because we did go a leak a couple of months back that said Sonic Frontiers will release in November, and to be more specific, the 15th of November 2022, and that was leaked by a PlayStation database, so did Sonic Team just change their mind? I don't know, because usually Sonic games do release in November, but if this database is like a fully confirmed thing and this is finalised, they're gonna change things up a bit, doing it two months earlier than what they usually do. Now this could be for a couple of reasons. One. This day is just a placeholder and they are going to change it at some point because the game isn't finished or this one to release at a different time. And usually placeholder dates are usually on the first day of the month or the 31st and as we can see here, we are the 1st of September for Sonic Frontiers so there is a chance that this could be a placeholder. The second reason why they changed the date to September instead of November is because maybe Sonic Frontiers will be ready way earlier than they actually expected it to. Maybe development of the game is actually going really well right now and they're thinking, you know what? Maybe we could actually get this game out like two months earlier than what we actually planned to do. You know, the game's fully polished, I mean, we're kind of sat here twiddling our thumbs at this point. So you know what? Let's just release the game early. Why not? Because then maybe we can get Sonic Origins out like during the holiday season or something. I don't know. And if that is actually true, then that is actually some pretty good news. It'd mean they aren't trying to rush the game or anything. Though, in a way, this could be a way of them rushing it because they're trying to meet like a deadline. Like what happened with like Sonic 06 and stuff like that. They wanted to release the game in time for Christmas so they can get on their Xbox 360 and everything. So they rushed the game to get it out at a set release date. And then Sonic 06 crashed and burned, basically. Now that could happen with this game, not saying it is. But there's always that slight possibility that something like that could happen. Because 
we gotta remember that this is Sega at this point, and clearly they still haven't learned anything because we got games like Colors Ultimate. And even though Blind Scroll were in charge of Sonic Colors Ultimate, Sega still did have the opportunity to delay the game. But anyways, back into the topic here. Development might be going smoothly on Sonic Frontiers because we do have to remember that this game was supposed to come out like last year, but then they delayed it one year because of uh, polishing reasons. So maybe they finished polishing way earlier than they thought they were doing. Um, yeah, just gonna release it in September because why not? No point in delaying a game when it's already fully finished and they got everything they need to do in the game. Might as well release it earlier so they can get to work on other things like Origins or Maybe even the game afterwards, you never know. Now another reason why I changed the release date to September is because of Breath of the Wild 2. Now this is a bit of a reach here, so just bear with me here. As we know, Breath of the Wild 2 is planned to come out at some point this year. I'm pretty sure it does have like a confirmed release date, like Frontiers sort of does. We just know it's coming out this year, unless they delay the game. And maybe because Sega know that Breath of the Wild 2 is looking pretty good and we've seen what the first Breath of the Wild did, critically acclaimed game and everything, and maybe Sega are kind of scared of the Breath of the Wild 2, so they're going to get Sonic Frontiers out before the game comes out, just so that Sonic Frontiers doesn't get overshadowed by Breath of the Wild 2 and everything, and then review scores drop because people have had expectations from Breath of the Wild 2. Now that is a bit of a reach there, not saying that Sega are scared of Breath of the Wild 2, because they shouldn't be. They should be proud of their product that they're going to present to us, because if they don't have that confidence there, then we should know that something's up. Now, I've seen some people actually talking about this next point, and I might as well talk about it right now. Now, the reason Sega might have moved the release date from November to September is because Colors Ultimate also released in September, so maybe Sega are changing the release date schedule from November into September now because they already started with Colors Ultimate, so maybe that'll continue with Sonic Frontiers and many games to come. Now, remember, this date is definitely subject to change. It's most likely a player source because Personally, I don't really believe that Sega won't release this Sonic game in September because that is the date when school usually starts back up again. And obviously, Sonic games are more targeted towards kids. And if Sega are releasing a Sonic game when school starts once again, that would seem kind of silly because kids are going to be busy with school, not with Sonic games. The holidays are over, they'll be getting back into the drift of school and everything, and yeah, it's kind of silly to release a game when school is starting and especially when kids are the main audience of Sonic nowadays so yeah it does seem a bit strange to me that they just release the game when kids are going back to school but what do I know? Now final point here I just want to talk about the another reason I don't think this is gonna be happening is because the reason it does say holiday 2022 and I don't think September really counts as holiday the days that count as holiday is November and December not really September September is way too early to be counted as holiday that's kind of more like late fall rather than holiday. But once again, anything can change at this point. I mean, it's Sega. Let's be honest here. Anyways, that about wraps it for today's video. So yes, we have another leaked release date for Sonic Frontiers, which is changing from November all the way to September, which is two months earlier than what we were expecting. Now, of course, there is a chance that this is a placeholder, so just be aware of that. Anything can change at this point. This isn't fully confirmed right now. But... What do you guys think of this news? Do you think Sonic Frontiers will release in September instead of November? Or do you think this is just a placeholder? Let me know down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by hitting the join button down below. And remember, it is not necessary. And I will see you all next time. Peace.